I'm sorry, but this is not the time to place for children. I must ask you to leave. Gay men wanted the right to be sexual beings. Women wanted the right not to be sexualized, not turned into objects in the way that the culture did. Warning. The following program contains material that may be offensive to some viewers. Like, say, lesbians. Just call me scissors, girl. Wait, is someone suggesting that I'm a lesbian? What do you want, drugs? I'm not gay. I like boys. I like boys. I'm straight. I like boys. I'm not gay. I just want to take a cold shower. I couldn't go a day without one. Cut that out! Cut that out! Sorry, I don't know what came over me. I, I was having a dream. What happens when you misbehave? The ratings go through the roof. Moving on now. In these videos, I'm not just asking why people are trans. I'm trying to figure out what being trans is. What's the difference? Well, here's a comparison. There's a certain inclination or orientation you might have heard of. It's found in less than 10% of the population. And for a long time, scientists have been puzzling over what causes it. Genetics, exposure to hormones in the womb, getting socialized in early childhood. But even though we're not quite sure what causes it, everybody does pretty much agree on what it is. We can describe it. It's fixed from an early age, and it's pretty much impossible to change. Although you can fake it and fool people if you really try. You are who you are. The only trick is not getting caught. It's not a disease or a mental disorder. It doesn't hurt you or anyone else. And you can't tell if someone's like that just by looking. Well, unless they want you to know. And yet for many, many years, people with this rare orientation or inclination were forced to pretend they had the common one and got into a lot of trouble if they refused to play along. Oh, she is a bad person and must pay the penalty. What am I talking about? Yep, you guessed it. I am not left-handed. Oh, and it also pretty much describes homosexuality. But you knew that already, right? See what I mean? Even if we don't know what causes left-handedness, we can definitely describe what it is. And because it's fixed from an early age, that's a clue that it could be genetically or developmentally determined. The same goes for being gay or lesbian. So when people say, if there's a gay gene, it would mean it's not a choice. Nah, that's backwards. Scientists only went looking for a gay gene in the first place because they already knew it wasn't a choice. Would they bother looking for a buys Nintendo instead of PlayStation gene? You mean, I'm an Amazon. Hello. I like girls. I like their rosy lips, their hard nipples, bums, soft thighs. I like tits and fanny, you know? to do him left-handed. Cut that out! Cut that out! And why are you sleeping in my class? Oh, I guess it was boring, sir. Please don't go. Homosexual. I'm homosexual. afraid you're being influenced by a way of thinking. Uh... So I want you to stop putting ideas into her head, okay? No, wrong, false, none of the above. Your father was emasculated, your mother was domineering. No way, baby. Have you tried not being a mutant? Doesn't work. I say we confront them and force them to Doesn't work. Then we separate them and... It's not gonna work. Have you ever had sex with a man? Did you ever get the feeling you're only going with girls because you're supposed to? I could have done that with a German Shepherd. When I volunteered at the homosexual conversion camp, I met this woman who was there who looked a lot like that lesbian. Is that a problem with that? No effect on target! No effect! Target! No effect! Keep Warning! You know, 
respond to drug therapy, I'll authorize electroshock. Ah! I didn't know you were gonna be giving me electric shocks. Ugh. It's not working. No effect on target. No effect. Roger. No effect. There's one thing that never fails: total frontal lobotomy. Failure. 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 And you'll live a life of growing fear and regret. No effect. Roger. Not exactly our finest hour. This will do it. If you had a, a mate who came up to you and said, "I'm gay," start eating. Because I hate gays. They will kill you if they get the chance. No effect on target. No no effect! Have you tried everything? Everything, sir. It's completely impregnable. You are who you are. Don't get the juice here, we love. I know. I know. Is that problem with that? Never be ashamed of who you are. I'm a homosexual. Homosexual? I like girls a lot. And, um, uh, I'm a homosexual. So what about being transgender? Shut up and get to the point! Eh, uh, well, you might have heard these two words being thrown around. Trans and cis. Kind of like saying people are left-handed or right-handed, or gay or straight. You might also have noticed that I've avoided using this one. And that's because using these two terms implies that being trans is something you are or you're not from day one. Like being left-handed or being gay. My side, your side, my side, your side, my side, your side! Born with a brain that doesn't match your body. That's the old story, right? You're in my body, and I'm in yours. We have our own minds. Wait. No, that can't be right. The more I investigate, the more it seems like that's not really how being trans works. Turns out quite a few people take quite a long time to figure out they're trans. Or take me, for example. Am I cis? Even if I decide I'm trans tomorrow? and start taking hormones? If I did, would that make me trans from birth? Would it mean I just thought I was cis all along? Come on, all I want is a little yes or no. I'm sure, you might also take a while to figure out that you're gay, or at least admit it to yourself. I'm not interested in women. You mean you're not ready to admit it. But what about people who detransition? transition Get my body back in a power plant. Were they always cis and just deluding themselves? Even if they were totally convinced they were transgender for years? A waste! The last 10 years wasted! Look at what I've done! Tell me this isn't happening! Look at me! I mean, really! Boff, boff, boff! I'm a can opener, a lamp, and a shaver! Cut that out! Cut that out! Oh, great. Now I've pissed off the detransitioners, too. And they're actually the people the rest of us should be listening to a bit more, you know? Instead of shoving them under the rug. But as usual, no one's paying attention to the war veterans. Same old story. The point is. It doesn't make sense. It's all kind of messy. Nothing makes sense. I don't know what's real and what's not. Here's a hint. What is that? The all seeing eye. What are you talking about? What are you? I was hoping you could tell me. Moving on now. Yes, yes, trans cat. That's almost interesting. But when do we get to the lesbians? I want to have sex with girls. Okay, fine. Let's talk girl on girl, from a certain point of view. Sexy. Who 
In episode 2, I talked about Harry Benjamin. His pioneering work in the 1950s and 1960s helped change attitudes about treating people with dysphoria in the United States. Like a lot of other people back then, Benjamin assumed that if you were a trans woman, you must be sexually attracted to men. After all, most women are straight. I've had boyfriends before. Things have been just fine. Now, even though a trans woman is biologically male, it can get a bit confusing and controversial to call this attraction homosexual or gay. To avoid confusion, some sexologists use the word androphilia, or desire for men. It just means you've got the hots for guys, whoever you are. Straight women are androphilic, so are gay men. And so is a transgender woman who likes the tall, dark, handsome strangers. I had a look at four random textbooks from the 90s. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I keep on my shelf. And they pretty much agreed that trans women like guys, just like most other women. And based on that, you might assume that a trans woman's got to be pretty feminine. You look so beautiful. And, and uh, feminine. Maybe you even decide that being transsexual is related to being homosexual somehow. But oddly enough, some really famous trans women fit masculine gender roles before transitioning. Some of them were, and are, married to women with kids. Of course, some gay guys are macho as heck too, and some of them hid the fact that they were gay and got married. So that doesn't necessarily prove anything. Anyway, we know that Benjamin made a mistake on this one because these days we know trans women can have all sorts of tilts. In fact, a lot of trans women today, including people like me who are just trying to figure all this out, are attracted to women. Now that I'm almost a woman of almost means, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go out with me sometime? Previously on Transcut in Space, our Transformer heroes were ambushed by a stats blaster firing volleys of dangerous questions about how many trans people there are. Luckily, they thought of some clever excuses, um, I mean answers, in the nick of time. But our heroes are not out of danger yet. All right, we survived that. Yeah, but will we survive this? That's what we need to find out. It's hard to get good numbers on this, but apparently at least 35% and maybe as many as 60% of trans women today identify as lesbians. We don't fit this profile, this expectation that researchers had for all those years. Come on, mate. Everyone knows the answer to that. It's obvious. Those bloody gatekeepers just assumed that anyone who wanted to live as a woman must want to root guys. So anyone who didn't fit that assumption got turned away from treatment. Unless they were sneaky enough to tell a few porkies. Okay, yeah, that does seem to be true. But then, where did that expectation come from in the first place? Was there a grain of truth in that stereotype? Because if you look around the world at male people who live as women, or as a third gender, in non-Western cultures, generally speaking, they are attracted to guys. Or do all those silly people in India and Polynesia and Thailand confuse transgenderism with homosexuality, while we enlightened Westerners know the real facts? What? Everyone's thinking it. A lot of people might be wondering why this is bothering me. I mean, everyone's different. People are complicated, aren't they? It's, it's complicated. I don't understand. Everyone knows sexual orientation doesn't have anything to do with your gender identity. Or vice versa. Does it? Warning incoming game. Warning incoming game. Piss off. Well, oh, I'm no expert. In that case, wouldn't you expect to see roughly the same proportions of straight, gay, and bisexual tilts in trans people that you do in the rest of the population? I guess that is a bit weird. If trans women have women's brains, shouldn't only like 1-2% to two of us be lesbian? Just like regular genetic women? On the other hand, Maybe having a male body just makes you more likely to be attracted to females, regardless of your lady brain. But if so, shouldn't more of us be trans lesbians? Like 90% or more? Because most people with male bodies are straight. Something about that is just downright unsettling. Nothing makes sense. I must concede that, I must volunteer that. Well, maybe it's because there's a collision between our female brains and our male bodies. But wouldn't that mean sexual orientation 
does have something to do with gender identity after all. I can't control it! Turns out you're not so cool after all. I wish I knew what the hell was going on. Ah, uh, this doesn't make any sense to me. You ever have that feeling where you're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming? When a person lives through something beyond human understanding, we experience fear. A loss of control, a sense of isolation, and a deep, almost existential loneliness. Something's wrong. There must be something really wrong with me. Is that what you think, that I was delusional? I do not know. Here's a hint. Is this the tea I like? It's always the same tea. Tastes like the other one. Most of the recent records have been scrambled. There might be some earlier tracks. <laughs> Finally, 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 finally. What is it? Uh, 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 tell me what you found! Moving on now! Right, mate. I've been patient with your cartoon sarcasm, but I can't let you spread such misinformative shenanigans without correcting your course. Les, by straight. Isn't that a bit out of date? There's something you forgot to include last episode. A respectable, academic, theoretical framework that will explain all of your so-called puzzles and questions in a jiffy. And the answer is... We are theory. But isn't that word considered an insult by saying? Don't be so old fashioned. This is all respectable and academic and stuff. Queer means the people you call Team Rainbow, your gays and lesies and indecisive types. Now hang on just the Plus, transgender people, who are the very important T in the LGBT that you've been unfairly segregating in hotel quarantine. Well, I didn't want to overcomplicate things by. Plus, lots of other letters like I for intersex and A for asexual. And uh, do those really belong in the acronym? Are they really sexual orientations? I thought plus this plus here for anyone else who wants to hop into bed with the all-inclusive rainbow crowd, like pansexuals and demisexuals and so on. What, anyone else? Yep. Anyone else? Look, it'll be simpler if you just read out this summary of queer theory by these two queer theorists, which I found in this 2006 book of essays on the L Word TV show that you had lying around in your house for some pervy reason. Wait, you've been in my room? Who do you think does both our voices, mate? Now go on, you better read it out, because the Americans are probably sick of having to turn on their subtitles to understand my comedy accent. Okay, okay, if you think this will solve everything, let's give it a go. Queer is more than just an umbrella term for gay slash lesbian slash bi slash trans. It recognises the danger of exclusion and acknowledges the limitations of strict gender and sex oppositions. Most queer theorists have abandoned the explanation of homosexuality or lesbianism as a natural or inherent condition, and are fully committed to the idea that sexuality, like gender, is socially constructed. Since queer sets itself against the normative, whatever that may mean at any given time, the gender rebels, butch femmies, crossdressers, transgendered, as well as some gays, lesbians, and heterosexuals, may identify as queer. Um, did, did I just read what I thought I read? What's the problem, mate? Sexuality is socially constructed? Sexuality is socially constructed. Everyone is potentially anything. They do say sexuality is more of a fluid thing. And straight people can be queer? Straight people can be queer. We are all just people, bodies and stuff. Then. Excuse my Canadian, but who the hell can't be queer? Wowzers. Uh, for my international viewers, that's straight arrow boring people. If I find the lesson boring, can I go too, sir? <laughs> so being queer is actually about rebelling against the system? Yeah, pretty much. I want you both to go to my office. And therefore, if some gays and lesbians just get married and live boring, normal lives, they're not queer? Seems legit but straight people can be queer. Sure, why not? I'm just gonna come right out. I have no idea what's going on or what this place is at all. And just to be absolutely sure that I'm on the same page here, queer theory says that homosexuality isn't built in like being left-handed. Nah, that would be essentialist. And, well, that means bad. What, even when it's true? Are you sure you're a left-winger? Well, what's your definition of true? I welcome you all to Cloud Cuckoo Land. But it doesn't bother you that gay rights campaigners fought for gay rights on the basis that sexual orientation is fixed and can't be changed and is not a choice? They're just people sexuals. No, they're definitely homosexuals. I don't like men that way. Only women.
know you're a homosexual. That doesn't mean you don't go out with women, just like any other man. Gosh, I'm really, really busy. <clears throat> Look, you're not appreciating the value of queer theory to your little video project here. See, it says there in print that anyone can be queer, as long as they rebel against the norm. Here in Cloud Cuckoo Land, there are no rules. Look, look over there. Two straight men, they go out with women. You don't expect them to go out with each other, do you? <laughs> yes, of course I do now and then, if it's convenient. You refuse to participate in a crooked system for fear of complete teenage exile. So all you're worrying about 1-2% to 2 of lesbians versus 35-60% to 60 of trans lesbians is pointless because it's all made up by society anyway. Tell me that at least I have my integrity. Integrity's a funny word. We are all just people, bodies and stuff. Exactly. I expect they're always nipping off together for a cuddle. So, technically, anyone can love anyone. Yeah, I guess. I certainly accept your convincing explanation. It's just you that's narrow-minded. You can run, but you can't hide. Didn't you identify as queer a couple of years ago? Oh, can you not? I, I don't want to talk about that. You know, that time you went out in public and cross-dressed. That was for a fancy dress party. It was just for a laugh. Not the second time it wasn't. Okay, okay, that's enough. Cut, cut. Come on now, stop trying to paint a rosy picture. Let's uh, crack the egg and say hello. You know something about all of this, but I don't. I can tell. Here's a hint. Definitely tastes like other tea. There's only one tea. No, wrong! None of the above. Why? Because... She is returning. Who is? Who's she? Can I ask you a question? As long as it's not about my eye. Moon is no egg. Moon is goddess. Wife of sun. You have been touched by the moon spirit. Do you understand? So who's laying these eggs? It must be something we haven't seen. The queen. I've never been able to tell you or the world the truth. But now I have to at last tell everyone the true story. Hurry up. This is no time for daydreaming. Moving on now. Where was I? Australia. Yes, Australia. I have a matter of some urgency to discuss. Hey, guess what? I found a bar graph. Except it's not about why people are trans. But it is a bit disturbing. When this happened to you, how long until you knew everything was going to be different? Right away. It's from a 2018 article on the ABC website. And that's like the Australian version of PBS or the BBC, except better. Woo! Or at least it would be if the government would give it some spare change once in a while. But anyway, the article talks about the rising number of children and teenagers who are seeking medical treatment because they're transgender. Or possibly non-binary. Or gender diverse. Or whatever the umbrella term is these days. Keep calm, everybody. Keep calm. You're kidding. Panic! No! <laughs> The graph shows the number of yearly referrals to the gender service at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. The director, Michelle Telfer, reckons that the situation is similar elsewhere in Australia and internationally. And I have heard similar statistics from the US and UK. Well, isn't that a bit out of date? Okay, well we've known since Harry Benjamin that little kids can have dysphoria. But check this out. Between 2003 and 2007, we have a grand total of three referrals. Just three. The Aussies thought this would be a permanent thing. Of course it wasn't. But look at what's happened since then. It's the transgender spike. It's the transgender singularity. And yet nowhere in this article is there any suggestion that there might be something odd going on. Something strange bothers me. The number of gay and lesbian people has stayed pretty much the same for 100 years, hasn't it? And for most of the 20th century, the same thing for transsexual people. So, why this sudden surge in the last 10 years? You stand there like you're gonna tell me a secret, but you don't. We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. Yeah, fair point. There was a time before Kinsey when we thought homosexuality was very rare. So, is it possible that we just didn't realize how many trans people were out there until the 21st century? Have we all finally learned to be more tolerant and accepting of transgender kids? Now, oh, sure, that must be part of it, but does this ring no alarm bells? 
I would not say such things if I were you. Okay, this is a massively controversial issue that deserves a whole video to itself. Or several. And I'm not going to say much more about it here. I can't deal with that now! Partly because I think that most of these people are biological females who want to become trans men. Female to male. FTM. No kidding, you know they're planning to go to Mars. Mars? And I'm concentrating on the MTF, male to female, side of things. But I will get back to it, eventually, because once you know what's going on with the trans women... What's going on? It helps you understand what's happening with the trans men. Is that it? Moving on now! Is something going on? <laughs> you know. Know what? Yeah, I don't understand. You don't know? Uh, so you don't know? <laughs> About what? There's something he's not telling you. Shut up and get to the point! Not yet. Peace. Moving on now. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the planet. This is Orson Welles, ladies and gentlemen. Still with me? Still strapped in? Excellent. Positive attitude will help with the horror to come. What horror? Mainly the tea. Because you know, ladies and gentlemen and trans wombats, I gotta say, over the last few years, there's some weird shit's been happening out here. People are starting to act a little strange. Warning! The following program contains material that may be offensive. Come on now, stop trying to paint a rosy picture. This is a war, and the only path left are life or death. Say Go away! I'm in a fight! And we're gonna win! Prepare your blood for immediate release! Are you ignoring me? Do you think it's this complicated when you're straight? Yeah, but the sex is crap. Why is that? If you're gay, masturbation is practice. I'm going to do him left-handed. How long have you been practicing? Always. If I use my right, over to put it. Since I um, was little. Cut that out! Cut that out! Just call me Scissors Girl. That's not entirely accurate. Ugh, it's not working! I've learned my lesson. I'm throwing up my dollhouse. I'm giving up my toys. She was a crap shag, though. All toys, no imagination. I like toys. Sorry. Dildo. Go to my office. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What else happened when you're naughty? I don't know what. We need to find out. <laughs>